Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today I'm at Wander Home Nottingley and I'm going to be having a look at two dealer special caravans. That's the Coachman Wanderer 19IB, the island bed, and the Coachman Wanderer 19TB, it's a transverse bed. Now both of these caravans are for birth. They are both on a single axle and dealer specials are basically where they take a caravan, in this case, the Coachman Arcadia 545 and 575, add a few extras and you get a dealer special. This one is priced at £31,995. Right, let's go through some facts and figures. So, as I say, the 19IB, size-wise, it's 24 feet and 3 inches in length or 7 metres and 39 centimetres. It's 7 feet and 5 inches wide. It is on a single axle, as I mentioned. It's got a nose weight of 100 kilos and the MTPLM is 1,585 kilos and you're going to have a generous payload of 155 kilos. Let's start at the front. So on the Coachman, we're getting these two front lockers for your gas. We're getting the large Coachman front windows and that big sunroof, which is always a great feature on the Coachmans. We're on the Alco chassis and we are getting ATC as standard on this model. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the near side of the Wanderer 19 IB and we'll take a look at what we're getting here. So we've seen the front, let's venture down this near side. So we're getting these lovely silver sides, so it does look quite special. We're getting these red decals with the silver. We've got our whale barbecue point. We've also got a plug socket here so you can plug electro electronics in the awning. We've got our locker box. As we carry on down the near side, we have got our awning light. We've then got a one piece door. It does have blinds. We've got our little bin here. We've got a 15 inch alloy wheel. We've got the vents for the fridge freezer. Then as we carry on down, we have got our flush filler and we've got our toilet cassette. So we know we're going to find a mid wash room. We'll see that when we go in. Then we've got our bedroom window and then we come round the rear. So the rear of the Wanderer, we've got this nice one piece, we've got a high level brake light, these little circular lights on here. So that is the rear. And then we'll head off down the off side. So on the off side, we've got bedroom window. We've got a window into the kitchen. Then we've got our locker box. This is where our electric hookup is going to go. Then we've got our whale water point. So when you want water into the caravan, this is where your pump's going to go. And on the Wanderer dealer special, you are getting this light here. This is a service light that isn't standard on the Arcadia. So this is an extra. So if you're out doing your water on a, a night or early morning and it's dark, you've got a light. On the roof, you do get an aerial as standard, but what you don't get is solar. If you want a solar panel, it's about 500 pounds. And last but not least, we've got the Alder vent because the Wanderer does come with Alder wet central heating as standard. Right, let's venture in and take a look at what we're getting for our 32,000 pounds. So as we step in, we do get a Wander home doormat and then we're into the lounge area. So the lounge area of the Wanderer 19, now this is a single axle van, as I said, seven meters and 39 long. So everything is a little bit shorter than it would be on a twin axle, but we've got our lounge. Now, the first thing you'll notice is if you are familiar with Arcadia, this is not the standard Arcadia upholstery. This is the VIP upholstery, basically, because this is a dealer special, you're getting some extra features. So you've got a different color scheme to the Arcadia. These are a nice sort of almost gray colored fabric do get these little armrests, these bolsters here as well, so that's quite nice. We've got our Pioneer speakers, we have got a plug socket, and then we do also have a charger, fast charger. Now that again is another feature that we're getting in this uh, dealer special. We've got our little lights, and then we've got some room here for the stereo. It's not fitted on the model in the uh, showroom, but we get our stereo there. We do have the locker front chest, so this will pull out to give you a little sort of side table and then there's a drawer as well. Now, if you're wanting to use the caravan as a four berth and you've got children, 
this bed you can either convert these into two singles now the compromise now this is the compromise for me on this caravan these are only four foot nine long so if you're using them as singles they're not suitable for adults the children only at four foot nine and two foot four wide you can convert this though into one huge double and if you do that it's going to be six foot seven so it's going to be plenty long enough and four foot five wide so this is going to be one great double bed let's just have a look in some of these compartments so in here what we're getting is our aerial that's the light switch there for the light that i showed you on the outside so we've got an aerial coming into that cupboard and then if we look into this cupboard here we've got a little bit of storage there there's these little side cupboards as well that are quite nice right let's venture back now into the kitchen area so as we venture into the kitchen we've got a side flap here we've got a plug socket we've got a good amount of worktop space a nice size sink and then we've got our Thetford appliance and what I do like here which I'd expect for 32,000 but we've got the electric hot plate and three gas burners so that's great whether you're on or off grid we've then got the grill and the oven there's a little storage flap here just under there and then as we come across We've got a pull-out cutlery drawer. We've got a little bit of storage there. Obviously, the uh, little bit of intrusion, but storage nonetheless. And then in this flap here, we've got the table. So this is the table for the lounge area. If you have got two or four of you wanting to eat, I'll close that up. And then we've got another locker which I like to see this for putting our plates and cups in. We've got a Russell Hobbs microwave as well. Let's close that. And then above us, we've got a sunroof to either let air in or let air out, depending on what you want it to do. Because on a warm day, if you open a couple of the sunroofs, you'll be able to create that air circulation, drawing air in or out. We've then got on here a good size locker box, as you can see there. We've got more worktop space here. And this is where we're also going to find our television point, plug socket, aerial socket. So TV on here. I don't know whether you could mount it there or mount it here on a bracket. Not sure about that. We have got our control panels. We've got the control for the water and the battery above the door and also the control for the Alder, that Alder wet central heating that I mentioned. We've got another little cutlery tray here for bits and pieces. And then we've got a 91 litre fridge freezer. So only a small fridge freezer on this single axle model. But there we go. Right. So that's the lounge and the kitchen space in this 19 IB. I'm going to move backwards now into the centre washroom. So first of all, we do get this door. I'll just demonstrate that. So this is the washroom door, which will close nicely. And that's going to separate the front from the rear. So again, if you are using this as a four berth, at least you have got that separation. I'm going to start on the off side in the shower cubicle. So we have got a really good size shower. I'll just give it a good pull. So we'll cl I'll climb in here. So into the shower cubicle, we've got a large door here, easy to step in, a good amount of floor space. We have got some intrusion from the wheel arch, but there is plenty of room in here, a good amount of head space, and we have got somewhere for our shower gels, which is just here. So this is a good size shower cubicle. Right, I'll just let you go past me in that direction and I'll dive out. So there we go. As I burst out, I'll just close this, we'll now have a look in the washroom. So in the washroom, this is quite a small space, but we have got everything we're going to want in here. We've got a glazed window, which I always think is quite important. We've got some cupboard space here. We've got the Thetford swivel toilet, which as you can see is swiveled in this direction at the moment. We've got the fruit bowl sink, tap that moves, got a little glass there for toothbrushes or whatever you want to do with it, a mirror. This is nicely illuminated here. We've got a nice little cupboard under the sink. We have then got a heated towel rail. We've got a place here for our hand towels or whatever bits you put on there. We do have a toilet roll holder as well, which is just here in this corner. So somewhere for the toilet roll. And then we do also get the mirror in this door here. So that 
not a bad little washroom to be fair again single axle but we've got it all in so for me personally that isn't a compromise the only compromise so far was the length of the sofa seats now into the bedroom we do have a privacy screen which is here that'll pull across so we've got privacy in this rear, rear bedroom now the bed this is a rear island bed and it's not a bad size length. This bed is six feet and two inches long and four foot six in width. So not bad unless you're taller than six foot two. We're getting a nice fabric headboard. We've got these little LED lights and we have got somewhere to charge on USBs as well. And then we've got three locker boxes here. I'll just open a couple of them. So good amount of storage. We also have this additional sunroof here. Again, this is going to let warm air out and also create nice breeze on a warmer day if you open some of the others as well. So that is always handy in a bedroom. We've then, on each side of the bed, we've got a wardrobe. Just a small little wardrobe. There is a rail in here, if you can see up there. So not a bad little wardrobe space. We do have somewhere here to put your cups of tea or your phone, whatever you've got on charge there or you can just pop them in there if they'll fit. Um, I don't see what much else you'd bob in there, to be honest. And then we've got some little storage boxes as well, just under there, as you can see. And as I say, that's on both sides of the island bed. And then what we also get is a window on each side. These have got blinds um, and they've also got this little fabric finish just to soften it up more than anything else. Also, I'll just come around here and show you this. Also, on the off side in the bedroom, we are getting somewhere to put a television bracket here. We've also got the television point and the plug socket, so you can have television in the bedroom if you want. Right, so that is the single axle Wanderer 19 IB island bed. What we'll do next is we'll head off into the TB, the transverse bed, which is almost pretty much identical apart from the layout. So. The TB is next to me, so this is the Wanderer TB. Same price, £32,000. Lengthwise, it's the same. Weight-wise, slightly different. The island bed model was uh, 1,585 kilos. This is 1,570, so just a little bit lighter, but still giving you a payload of 155 kilos. So the payload is the same on both the caravans. This one as well is the same. It's 24 feet and three inches long or seven meters 39. And it's still seven and a half, uh, seven feet and five inches in width. Externally, we've still got the same features. The only difference as we'll see when we go in, we're not getting a window here because we've got a different layout internally. And as we come round to the off side, I'll just show you around here. We're going to find on the off side our flush and our toilet cassette, because this is where we're going to be finding the washroom on this model. Uh, we are, if we just carry on down, still getting the kitchen window. We're still getting our service light and we're still getting the water and alder point at the same. Right, let's go and have a look at the transverse bed layout. So in we venture. Now, just with the island bed, the lounge is exactly the same. So these are the same length, four foot nine long. You can use them as singles or a big double. The kitchen layout, as you can see, is exactly the same. So no difference here. We've still got the same worktop space. We've still got the same 91 litre fridge freezer here. But on this one, what we are getting is the microwave is going to be situated here. And on this side, we're going to get two cupboards as opposed to just the, the one and the microwave there. So that is the only sort of difference there. Then you'll notice though, that there is a difference obviously here. We've got a privacy screen here, that's going to pull across and connect there. And then instead of a washroom, we're straight into the bedroom. Now in this bedroom, this bed is retracted. Now what I like about this, it retracts a long way. Now this bed is exactly the same size as the island bed model. It's six foot two by four foot six, but with retraction, you do get a nice amount of floor space. So this model feels more open than it did in the island bed model. We're getting a wardrobe on this side. You can see there the Alder tank with the fluid. We're getting this little um, sort of table space here. 
we're then getting a little drawer, a little cupboard, and that's the same over on the other side as well. As we come into the bedroom, here we get a mirror. We've also got somewhere for the television to be plugged in, an aerial point, TV you can put on there. Got a little cupboard storage under there, just show you that. And then as I move around, you can see we've got this single window on the off side, so nothing on the near side because that's where our headboard is. So this is the bedroom space. We do get a big sunroof here and it has got the blinds and the fly screens. So I quite like how this sort of feels quite open plan, much easier to walk around. Now, if you're a couple, this layout is quite handy because you're not as overly bothered about people walking through on a night to get to the bathroom because that's the compromise on a rear washroom is if you use it as a four berth in the night, people that might want to use it are going to have to come through your bedroom space. So let's have a look at this rear washroom. Got a really good size sliding door. I'll venture in. So in the rear washroom, we've got the frosted window. We've got our Thetford swivel toilet. We've got that heated towel rail. We do have a little bit of cupboard space just here. I'll just show you in there. As you can see, it's, it's not overly deep, but it's a good size in height there for bits and pieces. And then we've got a sort of main focus of the sink. We've got a really nice mirror. I do like this. I like how well illuminated it is. This is a nice sort of marble finish. We've got our fruit bowl sink tap. Again, our little plastic uh, toothbrush holder, or you can drink out of it, whatever, you, whatever you'd like to do with it, obviously. Got a nice little cupboard under there. Loo roll holder. And then we've got our shower. So our shower cubicle, good size this. I'll venture in so you can see me in action. Not literally, just in here. Good size shower cubicle, good amount of headroom, plenty of space all the way around. The shower obviously there, somewhere for our shower gels. And this, you can pull this down and hang things on it as well. So your wet towels or coats if you've been out for the day and you've come back a bit drenched. Um, so yeah, really good size um, shower cubicle. So one thing you are not compromising on um, in this model, the TB model, is the bathroom. Um, that is a, a really good size equally. The bedroom, good amount of floor space, same size bed as the island bed layout. Nice little kitchen, all the bits going on. You're not getting a tower fridge freezer because obviously it's under counter because of the space in the single axle. The only compromise really, I think, is the length of the sofas because if you like to lay out at four foot nine, they're not overly long. So that is the compromise on these models. Right, let's dive out and just have a little summary. So out we come. Right. So that was the Wanderer TB transverse bed and the Wanderer IB island bed. These are, as I say, the dealer specials at Wonder Home based on the Coachman Arcadia. They're both priced at just under £32,000. They do also have twin axle models as well. What I'll do in the description below, I'll put a link to Wonder Home and Coachman so you can compare all the models and have a look for yourself. Thank you to Wonder Home who've let me come and film this vlog today. It is appreciated. And that's it. So as always, thanks for watching and... I'll see you in the next one.